back to another Reality Check video review. Today we're going to be looking at the CR10S, the upgraded version of the CR10. Uh, the most favorite printer in the world right now, it seems like. This printer is very reliable and it just works very well. So uh, one thing I want to do before we jump right into the video, uh, I want to take a look at the CR10 Mini that's behind me and also the, the original CR10 that I've upgraded myself. Uh, on top of those things, uh, we're going to go ahead and get to some time lapses back at the end of the video to show off the, the printer some more. Hope you guys enjoyed those. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get right to it. Okay, so here we have the CR10 Mini and well, don't be shy. Come here. Alright, so here we have the CR10 Mini and as you can see, it, uh, it, it's just like the CR10 over there behind it. The difference is it is a, a miniature version of that. The Mini does have the same width of the build volume, but of course you can see that it is still shorter in length there, so you can't build um, or print as, as large of objects as you can over there on the other CR10. It is a, a great machine. It, it prints very reliably. Uh, the only difference, like I said, besides the height is, uh, of course, the bed size is a little bit smaller as well, but still the machine itself prints extremely reliably. So if we move on over here, we've got the CR10 original, and of course, just very quickly, I've got the, the Raspberry Pi, some lights added to it, I've got the dual fan added, I've changed out the extruder even um, with just a, just a higher quality one that also allows for flexible filament. And this thing is just, it's a solid beast. I, I did add some supports on the sides as you can see, and I think those really help, especially when it's printing taller different things. Um, the difference uh, with this machine over here is it only has one Z lead axis. On top here we have two different choices for a filament holder, depending on which uh, filament reels I have. Some are larger than others. And as you can see, basically we've got just a lot of different upgrades that we have on this CR10 right here, and we'll probably end up doing a few of those on the CR10S as well. The CR10S is equipped with a dual lead screw, which helps stabilize the printer on larger, taller prints. Thus, more consistent results overall. Another great feature is the filament sensor. This will alert you if you run out of filament, saves time and worry. Lastly, this upgraded version comes with a new motherboard, which allows for future updates and better optimization overall. Let's get started. And now let's open up the 3D printer. Alright, so one of the nicest things about the CR10 printers in general is that they come basically already pre-assembled. So you don't have to do a whole lot other than basically put the pieces together and then of course level the bed and then it's going to be ready to print. So let's go ahead and just get it out of the box and go ahead and do that. We'll set this aside for a moment. Of course it comes with tape for the bed, your upgraded uh, motherboard and power supply unit right here and make sure it is not 220. We want to make sure that's flipped over to 110 for America. The box of hardware and tools. This is of course our... Ah! All right, so now we have the two main components of the 3D printer uh, itself, and now we need to get into the hardware box so we can get the screws to get the guys to fit together. All right, we have a tiny spool of white filament. We'll go ahead and put that to the side. Our power cable, your hardware necessary for assembly. Of course, you have some also some extra things that you would uh, need if you needed a backup tube, for example, if anything happened to the previous one. You've got a 3D printer cable, you've got a scrape, a uh, 3D printer removal tool, and you've also got uh, nozzle clog fixer tool <laughs> and uh, oh this right here is a 3d printed filament guide that you're going to be using as well to make sure the printer does never runs out of filament okay so here we have the bed and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these clips for a moment it looks like the bed is covered in a plastic film so we're gonna want to go ahead and remove that before we go too far because we're not gonna be able to print with that that's for sure so it looks like it also came with a couple strips there of that tape to put onto the bed. First we're going to go ahead and remove this. Looks like, yep, it's on both sides, so we'll go ahead and put the glass down. You want to make sure that you tighten the z-axis lead screw on each side. If you're unsure of what that looks like, I'll go ahead and take this. So basically on each side you want to make sure that you put it in each of these holes and uh, you want to go ahead and tighten each of these guys up right here. Okay, so once we have those guys tightened up we can 
So the reason you want to move this up is so that you can actually get it above the heat bed right here and that'll give it some space. And of course, your fingers might get a little bit of that lube on it. That's all right. All right, so the next part is, of course, to get these screws into the printer. Keep it nice and tight. Go ahead and put it back over. Side over here that is going to be where all the wiring is going to be where you're going to have this little stop for the Z-axis. And on the other side, it's just going to be this piece. step is going to be to bring the power supply over and to hook everything up and then we're going to be able to uh, take a look at some of the differences here which I can already tell are pretty significant from this machine as the machine behind it. Uh, this one certainly has more hardware and is definitely uh, upgraded in the sense that it looks more sturdy and just has uh, a few different components overall. <laughs> All right, all assembled. Here we have the CR10S, the upgraded version of the CR10 that's beloved so much here in the 3D printer world. And I'm actually really excited to get this thing tested and to print some different pieces with it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the original white filament that comes with it and print the test sample. After we do that, we're going to go ahead and do some other samples and some, uh, some good old quality test prints after that and we'll, we'll go ahead and see some of those time lapses so stick around for those and, and I'm going to show off this machine with some other close-ups as well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do get a chance to check out my channel some more go ahead and check out the links below. We do have a discord where you can jump in. We talk about 3D printing, virtual reality, a bunch of different things. I'm in there and I have a bunch of different friends as well that love to talk to different uh, gurus out there or just enthusiasts in general. Also there is a Patreon link below if you want to sponsor the channel or help out with the channel. We can uh, always do more. It certainly helps me continue to grow the channel and to do more stuff like it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some more upgrade videos of this printer, believe it or not, there's going to be more upgrades with this printer, such as adding some lights, the 3D, uh, I'm sorry, the, the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I, I may even add the reinforcements to this one just because I, I kind of like how that makes it look and it's just really rugged. Plus, you can just pick it up and move it around without having to worry about, you know, hurting any, any of your joints through time. Uh, e even so, this machine by itself looks like it's ready to roar. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up and we're going to take a look. Uh, probably have to do some bed leveling, which is what we're going to do right now. Prepare, and I'm going to hit Auto Home. When it goes to Auto Home, this is going to show me where I need to uh, start leveling it. After it gets to its home spot, we're going to disable steppers. Uh, also, if you've seen my previous videos, we did do a huge upgrade there on the nozzle, and I do tend to, uh, I, I want to do the same thing on this one, because I really just love the way the prints look on that other printer. All right, we're going to go ahead and hit uh, Prepare again, and then go to Disable Steppers. All right, so now that we have the printer level, we're going to go ahead and use a stopwatch to time and see how long it takes to get preheated because we know that like the previous version, it took quite a while for this bed to get preheated with the nozzle. So I'm going to go ahead and just go into the main, roll down until I see preheat PLA, and then uh, it's going to go ahead and go to 45 degrees here on the bed and 185 degrees here at the nozzle. And what I want to do at least with the nozzle is to get some of that filament out that we have currently. So. One thing I've noticed is that it's actually heating up the bed as well as the nozzle at the exact same time as opposed to heating up the bed first and then the nozzle. It's just doing them both simultaneously. So that should also help increase the, the speed at which it heats up. All right, so the nozzle has actually gotten to 185 degrees at right around a minute and a half. And we've got the heat bed at 38 degrees Fahrenheit right now. All right, so just at three minutes, just at three minutes, we have gotten the heat bed to get 45 degrees. It took the nozzle about a minute less to get it to uh, the PLA standard of preheating. All right, so the very last thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and get starting to print here. We're gonna click in and go ahead to initialize SD card. Go ahead and hit print from SD card. I'm gonna go in to see what the first model is. And it looks like the G code on here says Lao Si Lu. I don't know what it is. I'm going to go ahead and click it 
It's going to go ahead and get the bed up to 50 degrees, and then we're going to go ahead and start printing. All right, so from this point forward, we're going to go printer crazy. I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and see how many different things I can print with this guy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this, more content like this. Uh, I, I can't wait to do some more upgrade videos and to show off this CR10S upgraded version a little bit more. Also, check out the description if you want some cool discounts, some deals, as well as all the different links to the upgrades that I'm going to do to this guy. All right, I'll see ya. Thanks. Oh, nice.